We are going to talk about carbohydrate restriction or dietary fat restriction and fat loss. So basically when you diet, should you cut carbs or cut fat or a combination of both? Now, if you're a low carb dieting fan, you will be able to find research that suggests that low carb diets are better for weight loss. However, in a lot of these trials, they do not control for protein intake and do not control for caloric intake, which basically means if you tell someone to on a low carb diet, they may cut their calories down and increase their protein intake. But if they get greater weight loss from this low carb diet, is it actually the fact they cut carbs that did this? Or is it just the fact they cut their calories and the fact they increased their protein intake? So one study looked at this specifically and actually suggested that it was the protein intake which gave low carb diets their metabolic advantage and not the carbohydrate restriction itself, suggesting that there isn't actually anything magical to low carbohydrate diets. So to answer this question definitively, you can look at metabolic ward data like controlled feeding trials. Rather than real world studies, you keep people in something like a metabolic ward and administer precise amounts of food. So you can give people exactly the same number of calories and exactly the same amount of protein, but change the carbohydrate to fat ratios within that. So a recent study looked at this specifically and analyzed all of the control feeding trials that controlled calories and controlled protein intake to isolate dietary fat and dietary carbohydrates specifically. Now what they have is something called a forest plot. Now each horizontal line down the forest plot indicates a different study. And the center is the neutral line, i.e. no difference between the two conditions. So everything you see that's slightly left of center favors the low fat condition. Everything right of center favors the low carb condition. Now what you'll notice is that most of them are hovering somewhere around the middle and there isn't that much difference between them. There's a fairly even distribution. Now when you pull all of these together, the weighted mean difference is only 16 grams of fat loss per day favoring the low fat condition. So there is a trivial difference when it comes to fat and carbohydrate ratios within the diet. Enough not to really worry about. So basically, in terms of practical advice, set your caloric intake first, set your protein intake second, and then pick a carbohydrate to fat ratio that suits your personal preference. Because when it comes down to it, neither of them is more or less fattening than the other, to enough of a degree to care about. So it makes pretty much fuck all difference. Pick the one that you think is best for you and the one you respond to personally. So for example, if you find that your appetite is better on a low fat condition, then it may make sense to go with a lower fat diet. Pick one that suits your personal adherence. This, these controlled feeding trials help answer studies and help shape recommendations, but it's down for you to adopt them into your own lifestyle and then see how you respond to them to shape that further. So that's it. I hope it's been helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye.